hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how you can use bone snapshot uh, with mesh morpher to match skeleton of metal humans so face skeleton uh, to your morph targets right so let me show you an example i have this beast uh, morph target and uh, if i want to uh, animate it this is just an example, right? I'm gonna enable here Arkit animation so we can see how the bones work without the morph target, everything is fine. When we enable uh, this uh, morph target, just because the vertices are far away from their uh, bones, everything is messed up, right? So we want to use bone snapshots. Uh, this is uh, an easier way without baking and preserve your original metahuman. And uh, let me show you how this works. Uh, we go to create uh, from pose in our uh, poser application in Mesh Morpher and uh, we select the beast uh, morph target, right? And we want to create a bone snapshot. We click on to bone snapshot and uh, we want to uh, use, uh, to only store in the bone snapshot, uh, the head uh, and the both bones, right? So we don't want to, have everything in our bone snapshot the lighter it is the faster it works right so this is our head bone and we will uh, just uh, open uh, that to bone snapshot uh, window and right here head this is it so we press ok and we will write here face okay now that the morph target has been created, we can, uh, that the bone snapshot has been created, we can also create a morph target from this uh, bone snapshot, right? We will load the face uh, bone snapshot and press on create morph target. We need uh, to get the deltas between this state and our final state, right? So now that uh, the morph target is uh, created we go back to the main window and we have here skeleton and beast we will export both right to obj export morph target okay and we will name this skeleton right so we know which one it is and we will also export our final uh, morph target we want to make sure we have everything uh, in place same order same count right and we will also export this and now that we exported uh, uh, the morph targets, we select uh, the bone snapshot here in uh, pose in uh, the main window. And we will see that the state is changed and we go to create from mesh files. We select the skeleton uh, morph target, which will match our current uh, state and the final one, right? And now we can create uh, the morph target. We will call it beast final, just so it's easier to identify it. Okay, and now we can save everything. Just make sure you save so you don't lose any work. And open uh, your metahuman. Right, select your face and open it. Oh, it was already open, it's fine. Okay, and now you can uh, you have to scroll down to the face uh, post-process animation blueprint, locate it and open it. Go to animation graph and here you can load your bone snapshot, right? First we will load the bone snapshot. Okay. We will select our face bone snapshot and we also want to enable the morph target that holds the delta between the state of the bone snapshot and the final state right so we will modify curve we will select this node go to curve map expose as pin make a map right okay and here well, we select this final. We can also use uh, expose it as a variable so we can modify it easily, right? 
and we will enable both with the same uh, uh, variable so when uh, we let me compile this so when we change the value here both the bone snapshot and the morph target will be enabled by the same value right so let's enable it to value of one actually here the default value let's keep it enabled right and uh, let's test it again uh, we have to disable the morph target here okay so this is our final state right and uh, we go to preview Let's uh, reload it. And uh, let's test it out. As you can see, everything works fine and uh, it works without baking anything, right? And uh, every time you want to go back to the original state, you can set uh, the default value to zero. And that's it. You don't have to do anything else, right? And uh, you can enable it again. Let's test it out just for the sake of it. And this is it, right? This is it for this video, guys, and see you around. Bye.